The Google Pixel 5a is the solid, budget-friendly A-series Pixel for 2021. I've been using the 5a that Google sent me for over the past month now, and I'm gonna take you through my favorite things about it, any downsides, and then my recommendation on who should get one. First up, let's talk about the design and the battery life. If this phone looks like a phone that you saw last year, that's likely because it's very similar to the Pixel 4a 5G in its size and weight. Though its color is a slightly different shade of black with a forest green undertone, which looks really nice in person. The Pixel 5a sports a 6.34 inch display and weighs a reasonable 183 grams. Google in general actually does a very good job with ergonomics and the Pixel 5a is just another example of that. Now, while the phone does have an aluminum construction, Google gave it this grippy back so it's less likely to slip out of your hand. And the phone is actually lighter than I was expecting too, making it easier to hold. The display on the Pixel 5a is a 2400 by 1080 OLED panel with a 413 PPI density and a hole punch selfie camera. Text looks crisp, colors look good, and while it's not the best OLED panel in terms of viewing angles, for $449, it is a good screen, and things like reading our free channel newsletter on it look great. And Google did add one new thing with this display, and that's a high brightness mode, which will turn the display up to 800 nits of brightness. Another significant update Google made this year with this phone is bringing IP67 water resistance to the 5A, a first for an A-series Pixel. Next up, let's talk battery life. Now the Pixel 5a has the largest battery of any Pixel to date, and in my opinion, it's one of the main selling points of this phone. The battery life is just solid. I'm typically seeing about a day and a half of battery life without battery saver or extreme battery saver turned on. That gets me easily four to five hours of screen time on this phone. I think you'd have to work really hard to drain this battery in a day. Now, if you use extreme battery saver or the regular battery saver, you can likely get a full two days of battery life with this phone, which ain't bad. You can actually schedule Battery Saver to turn on automatically based on your routine and when Google thinks your battery is likely to run out or when your battery hits a certain percentage. Extreme Battery Saver is another neat feature from Google that lets you extend your battery life in critical moments, turning off power-hungry background activities and certain features like Wi-Fi hotspots. You can go into Extreme Battery Saver settings to set the essential apps that you still want to get notifications from when you have this feature turned on and you can set the conditions for triggering it. And when you need to juice up your phone, the Pixel 5a does have quick charging using a USB-C cable. Now do note, it does not have wireless charging, and yes, I am a bit bummed about that because I like this phone a lot, I wish it did have wireless charging, but wireless charging is still a pretty rare feature to see on a phone at this price level, so it's not like it was expected. All right, now let's talk about the camera system. The Pixel 5a gets the exact same wide and ultra-wide cameras that the Pixel 5 got last year. And at this price, it's going to be hard to find another phone that's capable of matching the photos the Pixel 5a can take. You get Google's excellent HDR Plus technology, which performs very well in situations like a sunset or sunrise. You get Google's Night Sight, which is handy for taking photos of objects in the dark or low light conditions, as well as Google's astrophotography mode. You also get some Pixel exclusive Google Photos features like Portrait Light, which lets you change the direction of the main light source in your portrait photos. And Pixel phones in general produce photos that have this great contrasty look and their image processing is some of the best out there, often giving me photos with a look better than the ones from other phone brands. And while the video quality on Pixels, the 5a included, isn't nearly as good as what I've experienced on a Samsung or an Apple phone, the 5a's video quality is a step up from previous A-series phones thanks to the stabilization modes Google has now brought to the 5a from the 5 and the color accuracy has improved. Although it still will shift the colors as you pan the camera in some shots, which can be annoying. But at this price level, the video quality at the end of the day is still pretty decent. All right, before we move on to the Pixel software, let's talk about this video's sponsor, Bellroy. 
I've proudly partnered with Bellroy headquartered in Melbourne, Australia, because they're focused on improving the ways to carry your tech and belongings. And they've been making some great products for over a decade now, like Pixel phone cases and accessories like their tech kit pouch for keeping your tech accessories sorted and packed neatly. Mine came nicely packed and I love the limestone color, which is made from a leather free woven fabric, which is 100% made from recycled PET bottles and is water resistant. It's soft shell body lets it squeeze into tight spaces and zips out flat for easy access. You can fit all sorts of accessories in there thanks to the built-in elastic loops to organize items like charging cables, earbud cases, a mouse, Apple Pencil, and more. It also includes a hidden pocket that magnetically opens so you can add an extra power bank or other tech accessory. And best of all, the tech pouch comes with a three-year warranty. Bellroy is offering an exclusive 10% off anything on their site to six months later viewers, like the tech pouch, classic backpack, and Pixel phone cases, including the new Pixel 5a case. So use the link in the description below to get that 10% off your order and hurry. The 10% off discount only lasts through the end of October, 2021. Next up, software. The Pixel 5a runs Google's Pixel version of Android, which is slightly different than stock Android, and it comes with a lot of exclusive Pixel features. The Pixel version of Android for me is just such a joy to use. It's simple, fast, there's no crapware on it. Google hasn't automatically downloaded a bunch of third-party applications for you like you get with the Samsung phone. You get Android's great notification management and sorting. Android exclusive features like Smart Lock and the work profile that you can set up if you use G Suite to separate your work apps and your personal apps. And it gives you the ability to turn off all of your work apps and their notifications with a simple switch, which I use and absolutely love. And with the Pixel version of Android, you get to use the Google Assistant right out of the box. Some Pixel exclusive features the 5a has include call screening, which is a great way to weed out spam callers by having the Google Assistant on the phone pick up phone calls and screen them before your phone ever rings, allowing you to see a transcript of the conversation that the Google Assistant had with the person when your phone does ring. A related feature to call screen that I absolutely love is called hold for me. Now you use this feature when you know you're gonna be on hold for a while with a customer service rep. The Google Assistant will stay on hold for you, letting you move on to other tasks and ring your phone when it detects a customer service representative has come back on the line. The Pixel 5a also comes with one of Google's hallmark Pixel features, which is now playing, which detects any music playing in the background, displaying it on the always on display, and you can easily search your now playing history to see all of the songs that your Pixel has detected. Now, another thing to think about with the Pixel 5a is privacy and security. And you might think that fruit company over in Cupertino has this market cornered with their devices, but this is something Google has actually been paying a lot of attention to with their Pixel devices, including the Pixel 5a. Inside the 5a is the Titan M chip, which handles the phone's most sensitive processes and information such as password protection, encryption, and secure transactions and apps. The Pixel 5a also has a personal safety app with features like safety check where you can tell your Pixel to check in on you after a certain amount of time. If you don't check in after the time you set, the location of your phone will automatically be sent to contacts that you've selected. The Pixel 5a also features car crash detection where the phone will automatically detect if you're in a car accident and let you check in to say if you're safe or it'll automatically call emergency services if you don't respond within 60 seconds. And new for Pixel devices this year, in Google Photos, you now have a private photos folder for sensitive on-device photos like scans of your passport, ID, etc. So that's everything I like about the Pixel 5a. Now let's talk about who I think this phone is for and how it compares to the upcoming Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro due out in October, 2021. I think the Pixel 5 is a great choice of a phone for anyone who just needs the basics. You want a Pixel with a great battery life, one of the best cameras for the money with a nice design and screen size. And the best part is you get all of this for 449 US dollars, which is pretty reasonable. Google really did everything they needed to do with the Pixel 5a, and as a result, it is a very solid device. Now, if you want a Pixel with more premium build materials and you want one with wireless charging, a much improved camera system, 
a better screen and a likely much faster processor, that's who the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro are going to be for. So if any of that sounds appealing to you, I'd wait till they release those phones so you can see what the pricing information is on those devices before you make your final decision. Now, if you currently have a Pixel and are asking whether or not you should upgrade, my advice there is if you have a Pixel 3a or older, I'd look at upgrading. If you have a 4a, the only reason to upgrade would be if you want a larger sized A series Pixel with a better camera system and water resistance. If you don't need those things, then you're better off waiting to see what Google does with its A series phone or phones next year. And then of course, if you have the 4a 5G from last year, the 5a is so similar, I wouldn't bother switching. So that's the Pixel 5a. If you're looking to purchase a new Pixel, check out the links on the side of the video or down in the video description below. And if you have any questions at all about the Pixel 5a or you want to share your experience with this phone or a previous Pixel device, drop a comment below. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and found it helpful and subscribe to the channel for more reviews on tech products and Google products like this one. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.